Example number two. A 1,500 kg piece of machinery on a wooden slide is lowered at a constant velocity down a 35 degree ramp by means of a cable. If the coefficient of friction between the wood and the concrete, which is the lamp, is 0.35. A. Draw the free body diagram for the motion. B. Find the tension in the cable. Okay, let's begin. We are <clears throat> we are told that there is a there is a lamp there. How do I do it? I want to make it bigger so that you guys can can see it properly. There is there is a lamp there. Okay, and they have told us that the inclination is that five degrees. Then there is this machinery part which is being lowered by a cable. So if it's being lowered, meaning it's going like this, lowering is something that is going down. So by the fact of us knowing where it's going, we know where friction is going. So before I even do anything here, from the equation itself, I can label friction. Then if something is being lowered, then there is a cable actually that is holding it. So there is a cable right here where we have got our tension. Hope you understand it. If I'm lowering this by a cable, then the tension is in that way. So uh, if a friction is going in this way, then the force is going in this way. Unfortunately, there is no force that is pulling it. It's a zero. If you want, you can indicate it, but it will still be zero. So here we leave it. The weight. We are told that this guy is 1,500 newton okay so um weight is equal to mass times gravity mass is equal to weight over gravity so um i'm, I'm looking for weight rather not for for mass i'm already i've already been given the mass that it's 1500 so 1500 times 9.81 okay what am I getting? We get our good calculator and multiply. Okay, so 1500 times 9.81, its weight is equal to 14715 newtons. This can also be written as 14.7 kilonewtons. No, so you can put it here too if it's to two decimal places. Remember. When we are doing fundamental quantities and unit conversion. So as per custom, I'm going to write my weight there. Weight is equal to 14.715 newtons. Okay. Alright, I think now we can get off the paper. Uh, mu, I'm going to write mu there. Is 0 0.35. That's, those are things that they have given us. I just write there for... For remembrance, okay. So I can remove this one. So it's very important to show these steps because people who are marking you will do that. So I'm going to write 14.72 kilo newton. That is the weight. Then remember what we said. We said the normal is always perpendicular to the surface. The surface is this one on which it's sliding. So the normal is going to go that way. Then we said just extend the normal. Now remember, for me now, this time around, I've extended the normal outside the triangle. There is no harm. You can extend it in between. There is no harm. So I'm going to draw another line that is parallel to that from there. So I'm making that triangle. This angle here is the same as that one. So it's 35 degrees. Okay. So this side is opposite the triangle, opposite the angle. So it is a sign. So it's W sine. 35. This one is adjacent. It's W cos 35. I'm done with my with my free body diagram. That's how we answer A. 
So we can tell actually that normal here, this normal is the same as W cos C, 35. Then when we go to B, B they asked us to find the tension. Now there are two ways that you can find tension. One is a long cut, the other one is a short cut. Okay, so um, the shortcut way is looking at this from the perspective of the x and y coordinate system. So if you have got x and you have got y, the forces in the y should be the same on top and below. So the forces on top is equal to the forces below. Similarly in the x. Now imagine if I have to twist this going like that. It's going to look like this. This is the y-axis, this is the x-axis, which is exactly what we have there. So, all you can do is simply, that's the shortcut way, say, the summation of forces in the y should be equal to, I mean x should be equal to zero because the motion is in the x. So, look at this, this and this area on the same side. This one is on the other side. So this one is going like that. These two are going like that. So I'm going to say T plus friction force is equal to W sine 35. Okay. So I've done that. And I can proceed now from solving here. I find friction. I already have W. Okay. The second method is from how we have been solving it. Force minus C. Force is equal to mass times the acceleration, right? Then we proceeded to say force minus friction force is equal to mass times the acceleration, which is our standard equation. Now, when we look at this, we don't literally have any force that is going that way. How do we know? We have got a box like this. If your friction force is going that way, meaning your force is going the other way, right? Now, friction force is accompanied with T, and this force is accompanied with W sine 35. You, you hope you see the point. So, we can indicate here, as I said earlier, we can indicate force here, but it will still be zero, so it's as good as not indicating it. That's why <clears throat> I left it in the first place. All right. So, using this, this force has got an addition of W sine theta. So we are going to say force plus W sine 35 minus, okay, these two are acting as a friction, minus T plus FR is equal to mass times acceleration. But remember in the question, they told us C, that it's being lowered at a constant velocity. Now, when velocity is constant, acceleration is zero. So when you draw um, the acceleration time graph, this is constant velocity. There is no acceleration there. So we know that this is going to cancel. It's going to be zero. So we have F plus C, sine 35 minus T minus C, FR. Okay, is equal to zero, right? Then F plus sine 35 is equal to these two across the other side. It will be T plus FR. Then this is zero. So it goes back to that same one. It depends. I like using the shorter way. I don't like troubling myself and I wouldn't want you to trouble yourself. So just get those as forces in the X and the, in the Y direction. But it's very important to understand the process. Okay, so now um, let, let's begin our solving. Okay, um, T is what we are looking for. So it's very good that we take this one, the, the, the other side. I think that, that should make a lot of, a lot of sense. So we're going to have T is equal to W sine 35 minus FR. Now our duty here is to find FR because we already have W, it's there. Okay, so let's leave it there. We're going to say 
fr is equal to mu multiplied by normal also that's what we have been doing right mu we have already been given it's 0 0.35 0 0.35 the normal is this one we say d it's in the y okay this one is the same as this one so in this case in fact normal remember what we said in the beginning normal is w cos theta that's what we said so you should go and revise so we just find the friction here so we put the friction is equal to mu 0 0.35 normal is w cos cos 35 not so so fr is equal to 0 0.35 i have my w it's there times 14 715 cos 35 so punch that one into the calculator and see what you are going to get okay so you have solved and mine has given me 4218 let me know what your answer was in the comment section i know you guys are not going to be using the the, the kind of a calculator like what i have you might be punching cos 35 alone and also here where we are finding um that you might not find exactly the same so you can let me know what you found in the in the comment section and also the challenges if you face any so we know that that is our friction force 4218 so now we just bring this and plug it there okay so we have got t is equal to, let me write my friction force there for 218.80 okay so t is equal to, let me remove this so that at least because we already have it at least the board must be a little bit clear so we are putting that into that t is equal to w remember my w is that sine 35 minus the friction force is 4218.84 so let me see in the comment section what your friction force should be so you can just pause the video mine should you give me um should you give me what should you give me five sign 35 okay minus 41.84 okay so my tension in the cable that is being used to lower the machinery part for me it's giving me 422 1.34 newtons so this is how we solve such kind of a question so generally you can see that um all the questions that are going to come uh on the topic friction they are literally categorized uh, in three or four ways just like the way we did there is one where normal is uh, the same as the weight then there is one which we did as two where normal is equal to the weight plus the y component of the force then there is the one which we inverted which was upside down where normal is equal to the y component of the force then there is a last one which is this one an inclined plane where normal is equal to w cos theta so you don't really need to begin struggling once you get to know those three uh three four ways of solving normal then questions on friction should be straightforward then last thing that definitely you need to be so much aware is the angles how the angles they come so this was mock exam that your friends wrote this is a craft certificate in heavy duty equipment of course it was combined with the diploma and advanced certificate okay what i want to show you is how the question came you can tell that instead of the examiner putting a 30 here they put a 150 this side so 
most of students forgot to use that they just used 150 direct which made everything they solved wrong so be careful with the angles look at the direction of the angle we are solving our angle to be right there so it is the same angle as this one but this one is 180 so you subtract 180 minus 150 that should give you that one so be careful with that always okay so you can see define limiting friction which we did uh, static friction to max there list two advantages of friction in heavy duty engineering we, we talked about all these uh, enabling uh, cars to move brake uh, braking and all those things gripping so just look around what we have covered so far should help you to answer any question on friction without much trouble and let me not save you without much trouble without any trouble because we have covered everything that you need see you in the next video and remember to subscribe